WWE games have always had somewhat of a give and take relationship with players, giving us new match types one year and then taking them away shortly after. So in the spirit of giving and taking, here's 12 match types that were removed from WWE games. Number 1. The Parking Lot Brawl Whilst almost every WWE game to date has had some kind of parking lot area to brawl in, the original SmackDown vs Raw introduced the Parking Lot Brawl as its own match type, coupled with a new and improved parking lot area that was filled with interactive elements. Taking things further, SmackDown vs Raw 2007 would offer up an even greater version of the match with more interactive elements than ever before, including the ability to repeatedly strike players with the hood of a car, cover them in raw sewage, lock them in the back of a hearse, or even throw them from the extended ladder of a fire engine. Number 2. The Buried Alive Match First introduced in SmackDown vs Raw 2006, the Buried Alive match was a new take on the casket match which was first introduced in SmackDown 2, however this time rather than having the casket at ringside, the casket was placed on a giant mound of dirt to the side of the entranceway where it featured its own grave. Much like the original casket match, players would have to Irish whip or drag their opponent over to the casket and then force them inside using a new mini game which required players to repeatedly press the controller's face buttons. Successfully completing this minigame would see your opponent thrown into the casket where they'd get one chance to escape if they were able to stop the blue bar in the correct area when closing the lid. If they were successful in stopping the ball correctly, then this would see the player stick out the hand to stop the lid from closing, however if they weren't, then this would see the lid close and the referee call for the bell. The match also offered up a special finisher option that would allow players to win the match using a stored finisher and an active finisher as whipping your opponent towards the casket and pressing the finisher button would set up this match ending power bomb. The match also included this special post match cutscene which seen a digger used to pour dirt over the casket making this more of a traditional buried alive match than a casket match. Number 3 Special Guest Referee and Double Special Guest Referee the Special Guest Referee match has long been a favourite as it has always made for some great moments when playing with friends and deciding to screw them over, so much so that it's still baffling as to why this match type was never brought back. Taking on the role of the referee, players could call the action as any of the in-game superstars as well as created characters with options to count pinfalls, countouts or call for the bell during submissions. Rather than calling matches straight down the middle, players could freely decide how they wanted to call the action themselves by controlling the speed of the referee's count which allowed them to screw people over with a fast count or by taking an eternity to start counting and going as slow as possible. Doubling down on the fun, WWF Smackdown 2 introduced a two referee match that seen two officials calling the match at the same time, with this match making for even greater moments as the two referees would battle each other, break up pinfalls, submissions and they did everything that they could to give their guy an advantage. Number 4. The I Quit Match The I Quit Match made its debut in the series in the very first Smackdown game in 1999 where it remained a part of the series for several years before being removed. In the first iteration of the match, players would face off in a falls count anyway no DQ match that featured a microphone at ringside which could not only be used as a weapon but you could also use it to ask your opponent if they quit instead of going for a regular pinfall. This version of the match remained in the series up until Smackdown Here Comes the Pain before later returning to the series in WWE 13 where it took centre stage in the game's Attitude Era mode as players recreated the famous I Quit match between Mankind and The Rock at King of the Ring. This version of the match type would play similar to the original version with players having to deal enough damage to cause their opponent to stay down, at which point they could then call for the referee to ask their opponent if they quit, leading to the referee pulling out a microphone and starting up an I Quit minigame. In order to escape, players had to stop the moving icon in the highlighted area which would allow them to get back to their feet, however making that task a little bit harder, the opposing player could intimidate their opponent by taunting which would cause the icons to shake frantically. Number 5. The Inferno Match Introduced in SmackDown vs Raw 2009, the Inferno Match would see the ring surrounded by fire with the flames getting higher and higher after every move. In order to win the match, players would have to increase the temperature by performing moves with each move causing the on-screen heat bar to increase. Once the meter reached a sweat inducing 300 degrees, players had to drag their opponent over to the ropes where they'd either fight back or be thrown to the outside with this depending on how much damage had been dealt. 
After throwing your opponent out of the ring, a new victory cutscene would play, showing the opponent on fire, with this cutscene remaining in the game until the match type was removed in WWE 2K15, however only SmackDown vs Raw 2009 would see the player actually set on fire. Number 6. The Championship Scramble Without a doubt, one of the most entertaining match types featured in the series was the Championship Scramble match which was introduced in SmackDown vs Raw 2010. This match type would feature a 10 minute time limit with two superstars starting out in the ring and a new superstar joining the match every two minutes. During the course of the match, players could score a pinfall or a submission to become the interim champion with the interim champion at the end of the match being crowned the actual champion. The coolest thing about this match was that players didn't have to pin or submit the player who was that interim champion as they could score a pinfall against any of the players in the match, meaning you could have multiple pinfalls going on at the same time and the interim champion losing the match without being pinned. These rules and the fact that the match was a no DQ match made for a lot of frantic action and a ton of fun with the championship capable of changing hands multiple times in close succession. Number 7. The Lumberjack Match Making its debut in SmackDown Shut Your Mouth, the Lumberjack Match was a pretty simple match type that seen two players battling out in the ring with four Lumberjacks patrolling the ringside area. When a player was thrown in the outside or left the ring voluntarily, then the Lumberjacks were permitted to get involved by attacking the player and then throwing them back into the ring. Rather than being impartial, when picking the Lumberjacks, players could select up to two Lumberjacks to side with each player, with those Lumberjacks then targeting only their opposition. Because of this, should you stand too close to the ropes on the side of the ring that your opponent's Lumberjack is, then this would see them grab you by the foot for a distraction or jump up onto the apron and perform a hangman on the top rope. Number 8. The Casket Match Whilst we've already covered the Buried Live match, which occasionally seen a casket involved, WWF SmackDown 2 featured the casket match as its own unique match type in which a casket was placed at ringside. Rather than being stuck in a static position like the caskets in the Buried Alive match, the casket in the casket match was free to be picked up and carried around like a table or even used as a weapon. To win the match, players had to Irish whip their opponent towards the casket which would cause them to flip over and fall in. If the player in the casket had only taken a little damage, then this would see them cling to the outside and try to escape as the opposing player kicked away at them to try and close the lid. Alternately, if the player falling into the casket had already taken a lot of damage, then the casket would close immediately upon falling in. The awkward thing about this is that players could fall into the casket themselves if they accidentally ran into it, which again, if they'd taken enough damage, then the casket would close and they'd lose the match. Number 9. The Barroom Brawl Similar to the parking lot brawl, SmackDown vs Raw 2006 introduced a new brawl match, the Barroom Brawl. Much like the parking lot brawl which featured numerous interactive elements, the Barroom Brawl was set up in the same manner and it allowed players to interact with almost everything they could see. For example, players could throw their opponent into the pool table, use the pool cues as weapons and even put each other through the table itself. Other elements included interactions with the jukebox, the neon signs, shelves full of bottles and even sliding your opponent along the bar itself. Plus, there was also an awesome interaction with the basketball trainer that sees the player shooting hoops. Number 10. The Ultimate Submission Match If there was ever a match type that I was to say I was glad to see removed, then arguably this one is the one. The Ultimate Submission Match took the standard submission match and then mixed that with an Iron Man match to create a grueling new match type in which the winner is the person to submit their opponent the most in the given time. Number 11. The Bra and Panties Match The infamous Bra and Panties Match was first seen in SmackDown Here Comes the Pain where it pitted two divas against each other with the winner being the first person to disrobe their opponent. The mechanic behind the game mode was pretty much identical to the mechanic used for a submission with players having to repeatedly press any button to force the icon into the red. Number 12. The Fulfill Your Fantasy Match SmackDown vs Raw 2006 offered up a new version of the Braun Panties match, the Fulfill Your Fantasy Match. This new match type seen the ring decked out in pink with two chairs and a bed and both players sporting a choice of schoolgirl, nurse or French maid it has as they traded blows with large pillows. Successfully landing a strike with the pillow would help to fill up the on-screen fantasy meter as would removing your opponent's clothing with the first player to fill the meter being declared the winner leading to the following cutscene in which the winner knocks out their opponent with the pillow. 
So there you go, that was 12 match types removed from WWE games. Let me know your favourites in the comments and please do hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more WWE games content. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.